Hello. Um, I got a lot of requests to do a tutorial for my Rasta Marble that I put up in a couple subreddits. And I said I'd do that, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm sorry if I'm really awkward on camera. Uh, I've never made a video like this before, or really any, any video where I'm just talking to myself to my laptop, so I might get a little weird. Just ignore that, um, and I'll try and show you how I do this water marble. Okay. So the things you're going to need, some scotch tape, nail polish remover, um, a toothpick of some sort, just to like draw a design. Um, something to put room temperature water in, it does have to be room temperature, but it's not going to spread right. Um, ideally with something like a really small surface area, so I use a little old pill bottle to just waste less nail polish this way. You can use a cup or whatever you have and have laying around. And then I'll show you what polishes I'm using. I've got, um, this OPI Fiercely Piano. Um, sinful colors and this one's called happy ending I don't know why that's green but um, and then uh, OPI is actually Nicole by OPI and this color is called court is ready for a petty These colors all have really stupid um, illogical names but I won't ramble on about that and then um, for my base color, which I've already uh, did all the preparation to make this video faster, but I used Sally Hansen's just a French white tip. Uh, I know you really shouldn't use this for your whole nail, but it's the only color I have that's like a bright enough white to really make these colors pop out. So that's what I use. And then for my top coat, I do a uh, Essie's uh, no chip and then another Essie's quick dry just because I'm a very impatient person. But I'm not going to do those today because I'm not going to keep the nails that I'm showing you. I'm just doing them for the tutorial. But just so you know, these are really good. They make my nails last like two weeks usually. Okay. So, okay, yeah, okay. I'm going to get started now. So I apologize if you can't really see this. I'm trying to make it as visible as possible. Oh, I told I knew I was skipping something. Okay, first before you do the actual marbling part, you have to tape off your nail with a scotch tape. It's not like a completely necessary step, but it's gonna make cleanup afterwards a lot easier. So I just use two two pieces of tape and one you can see on my thumb goes like around. And then I pull it down the sides. So the front side, you can't really see the tape, but, and then I use one on just the bottom. Just make sure it's taped around so that uh, nail polish doesn't get on your finger. It's the important thing. And I actually already did this nail. I'll let you guys look at it. So that's what the end product kind of looks like. Okay, so once you're all taped up and you've got your base coat on, and I'm assuming I don't have to tell you how to paint a base coat, uh, you're going to stop, start dropping these nail polishes in water. You can see it starts to spread out. If it doesn't spread out like that, um, you don't have the right kind of nail polish. You need kind of expensive nail polish or it's not going to work. I don't know why cheap nail polish does not spread in water, but it just kind of dries up at the top and you can't do much with it. So OPI is really good. Um, the sinful colors are really good. And I've heard that China Glaze is good. I don't have any of those. Um, that's probably another good one to try. I've never had an OPI not work for this though so it's a pretty safe bet okay so once you've got you're supposed to have like a bullseye shape kind of like this with all the layers of colors you want and um, you can start to do your design from then and this is the part where you don't really have to follow what I do so you can 
come up with something funky and it'll work. I personally just like to not mess with it too much because um, I like big, broad lines. I just think it looks neater in a water marble. But you're going to not start off from the outside because that's already kind of drying. Start from one of these inner layers and just kind of start pulling your design in. And I'm actually going to do like a swirl for you guys because I think that looks really cute. And I need a little more green. Oh, okay. I feel like I kind of messed with it too much. So I'm going to show you exactly what I meant when I said I don't like to, to mess with it too much because I like broad lines. But they start to get um, like really thin. And it looks like a cool design in here, but when it gets on your nail, it's just a bunch of these thin little lines, and it doesn't really look that neat. So I'm going to start over, actually. My bad, guys. But at least you know what I was talking about. Okay. Just doing exactly what I did before, but... You just have to really make sure these colors spread. If the colors spread, it'll work. Okay. So I'm going to try, I'm going to attempt this swirl again. Okay. So you can kind of see it there. I don't want to move it too much. So it's just a swirl, and you want to dip your nail in at like kind of a 45 degree angle, wherever you pick uh, where the design looks best, because that's what's ultimately going to just pop on your nail. So I'm just going to slide it in like this. And once your nail's in, don't pull it out right away, because there's all this extra nail polish on the top and you need to clean it off with like a toothpick or something or else it's going to relayer on the top of your nail and then once you can see the water's all clear on the top you can pull out your design. This isn't exactly the swirl I wanted but it looks pretty cool and I think that's why I like water marbling because it can come out however you want um, and it just looks like neat and kind of unique I don't know how well you can see that, but neat. Okay, and that's them together. Oops. You can't see that well on the on the video, but you can see from the pictures it comes out really cool. And then this is where I would regularly put SE top coat, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna take the tape off. And um, you can peel it off, or if it gets like really difficult, then break out the scissors, which may, may be what I do right now because it's not coming off that easy. Okay. Oops. So this is what it looks like after you take all the tape off. Cool little design. You can see in the corners you still have like a uh, nail polish, but that's why you need the nail polish remover. Take some cotton swabs or a, like a piece of a napkin and just kind of clean that up. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And hope that that's helpful. 
I don't think I'm a very good tutorial maker, but I did my best. <laughs>